Now, <clears throat> first things first, man, I forgot they had snipers on the roof out there at J.D. Youngest funeral. I'm going to show a clip, though, that y'all probably put fathers, active fathers and the active mothers and the active family members. Y'all definitely going to want to show y'all kids this part, and y'all definitely going to want to watch this part for those who ain't been in the streets and everything. I'm going to break down something real powerful, so stay, watch the whole video, make sure you got that bell turned on. And hit that like button. Force this one into the algorithms for real. The cops who got it. Listen, it's cool to make your complaints and everything like that, but get your lawyer and go knock out the door. Because more than likely what they're going to claim is civil forfeiture, so they're going to want receipts for every single dollar. That's number one. Number two, y'all done heard Mr. Kang talk about it. Boosie talk about it. Y'all done heard a couple of people out of Louisiana talk about it. How all these sheriffs and cops in every parish ain't got a good police officer in it. I don't know. I ain't from Louisiana. But I'm going to believe what they talking about. But either way that go, you got to fight the law with the law. Unfortunately, it's going to take a little couple of pennies to do so. But y'all got to take belt to them. They do this all the time. So, J.D. Youngin got robbed. As he lay in the hospital dying by the police department. Is it sad? Is it ugly? Is it terrible? Absolutely. But we also got to be real on a couple of things too. And I don't think little buddy had a will because young cats don't believe they're going to die. But I will say this. They could possibly hold that money as well to determine who is going to be the head of his estate. Which means after you get head of his estate, which will be his mother, because he ain't married or anything like that, you still got to figure out a couple other things. Now, were the cops thinking about that the whole time? No, they weren't. Had the cops logged some bad money in there before? A bunch of times. What will happen? I don't know, but I can dang near guarantee she going to get that money. Dang near. I ain't going to say all the way because it's real tricky out there in the boot, but I want y'all to take a view at this right here. That's where people who didn't run the streets before wasn't even thinking about being gang bangers or gang members. That's where they make the switch. That's where a lot of retaliation happens. That's where a lot of times people who front the streets understand why beefs will never die. And it will take a lot of money. The only way to stop this stuff in the streets is opportunity and money and a little bit of sprinkle of what's called hope, which is actually poisonous in certain instances. But what y'all just seen, that's what'll make an innocent boy get so enamored in his feelings, he'll turn into a killer. This vicious cycle that the streets has always indulged in is only one thing extermination it doesn't matter how many times we get our get backs and everything like that bro i know what it's like to have a brother get shot and go do something about it i know exactly what it feels like but that don't matter 
It really don't. Because there's a saying that says, when I behave like, I mean, when I was a kid, I thought like a kid. And as a man, I behave like a man. And those are still kids. Look how small they is, bro. Look at the PTSD on their bodies. This was their leader. And if not their leader, they homie. They bred when they homie. That was going to bring them all up and put them all alone. And now that opportunity is gone forever. FG is in the feds. We're going to see how it go, how it play out. But, young and ace, you going to be popping up at Boogalooza? Highly doubtful. You seen how they did you? They put the dolls all around you. There's snipers and everything on top of that. Police department right there, full force. Soldier who in charge. I was trying to crack on the fuck with a nigga for no reason. Nigga ain't need dead shit. Look how they do your boy, man. We had a motherfucking funeral, bro. How the fuck? Damn. Man, you disrespectful as fuck. You making them here. And by the end of the week, it's looking like those warrants are about to drop. And we're going to have some faces and some names and everything like that. So just wait, watch and see. This is the only video I'm putting out today unless something massive happens. I'm in, I'm, you know, already know I'm in LA all day today. We got no jumper tonight. Visionary, show up, bro. What's happening? Show up. Monday show. I need them eyeballs in there. Start fighting these dang trolls, man. They, they, they hurting us. They ain't hurting us, but you know, fight back, bro. Come on, man. Pull up, no jumper. Remember those cats who said I messed it up? I didn't. I'll be popping up on no jumper a lot more. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Setty Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.